All right then gang, so now we've seen how to add new documents to a collection using two methods and they were insert one and insert many. We've also seen how to find documents using the find method along with how to filter our results with custom filters and also how to make slightly more complex queries using MongoDB operators. Now I wanna switch our focus to deleting documents from a collection. Now, before we actually do any of that, I wanna show you one little trick that you can do from inside Compass, and that is to export your current data in a collection. And this is useful because we're gonna be deleting this data later on. And unless we want to write out manually all of these documents again and add them, then it would be a good idea to somehow export all of this data and then import it later on once they're all deleted, all right? So we can do that inside Compass by clicking on this button right here that says export collection when you hover over it. So click on that. I'm gonna export the full collection, then click on select fields. and We just select all the fields that we wanna export. They're all ticked by default. Then select output and you can output as JSON or CSV. I'm gonna output this as a JSON file. Then you can browse to decide where you wanna save this file and then click on export. I've already done that, so it's here on my desktop now, a JSON file, so that later on, once we've deleted some of these documents right here, we can just import the data by clicking on add data and then import file. And we can import that JSON file, all right? So now you know that, let's get on with deleting data. So like with adding documents, there's two methods that we can use here. We can use delete one to delete a single document or we can use delete many to delete many documents. So let's start with delete one because that's a bit simpler. So before we do that, what I'm gonna do is say db.books.find, just so we can see all of the books listed right here. Because now what I'm gonna do is grab the ID of one of them, because we're gonna use this object ID right here to delete a single book, all right? So let's copy this. I'm gonna highlight it and control C. And down here now, I can say db.books, and then we use the delete one method. Now inside here, we specify the underscore ID of the document that we want to delete. Now I'm gonna paste in this object ID right now. And this is the best way to delete a document based on this ID because we know that the ID is unique to a specific document. This could be another field. For example, you could say delete one and then use author and set that to be, I don't know, something like Terry Pratchett, but then it's just gonna delete the first Terry Pratchett book it comes across and we have a couple of those. So we don't know which one it's going to delete, but with the ID, we do know that it's gonna delete this one right here, all right? So it's as simple as that. Use delete one, and then use the underscore ID property to specify which ID or which book based on the ID that we want to delete, all right? So let's press enter and um, we can see acknowledged is true and we can see deleted count is one. So we know that one document was deleted. So now let me just clear this and then I'm gonna find all the books again to make sure that the last one the George Orwell one that we just deleted isn't there. And we can see, if we scroll up, it's not there. All right, awesome. So that's delete one, but we can also delete many documents in one go using the delete many method. So first of all, let me just list out all of the books again. So db.books.find, and let's say, let's take a look. I want to delete all of the books by Terry Pratchett. So we have to, we have this one and we also have this one. Now I could do those separately using delete one and passing through the ID of each one individually, or I can do them in one go using the delete many method. So the way we do this is by saying db.books and then dot delete many like so and we pass in some kind of property we want this deletion to be based on. So I want it to be any book where the author is Terry Pratchett. So all I need to do in here is say the author must be Terry Pratchett, like so. So this is gonna look at all of our books and where the author is Terry Pratchett, it's gonna delete that book. So it should be this one, The Color of Magic, and also this one, The Light Fantastic, all right? So let's press enter, see if this works. And we can see acknowledged true and delete count is two because we deleted two books. So let's just list those out to make sure db.books and then dot find. And if we press enter, we can now see we only have two books left. Awesome. Now what I'm gonna do is go back over here now and I'm gonna 
delete the two we have from here that are remaining. In fact, we need to refresh first of all. Okay, so we can see now the collection has no data. So now we can import that data back that we saved earlier. So I can go to add data, then insert documents, not insert documents, sorry. We wanna import file and then we just select a file and all you need to do is select the file that you saved before. So I'm gonna open up the desktop and we can see we have this books.json file right here. And then I'm gonna import this the import is complete, done, and now we can see we have all of those documents back. Awesome.